All right. Hey, everybody. Rob Cosper here with Best Seller Publishing. Great to be with you as always. I think we have a fun call for you today. We're going to do a book funnel deep dive, a hot seat, if you will. And we're going to go through um, Josh Kalinowski's funnel. He and his partner, Tommy Russell, are on. Um, so we're going to go through. I got all the pages of the funnel, upsells, downsells, uh, thank you page, et cetera. I'm going to uh, go through and paint some broad brush strokes when it comes to your book funnel and, uh, and what the thinking is um, when architecting it. And, uh, and then I'm going to share a bunch of stro uh, strokes, uh, a bunch of uh, sites as well, um, all of the, uh, the various um, pages of my funnel and where you can get all that, which is in, I've already posted it in our uh, Facebook group. So let me go ahead and share my screen. Without further ado, let's dive in. And um, probably uh, Josh and Tommy, you know, if there's any point at which you want to stop me, um, then please do so. Otherwise, I'll just kind of I'll just kind of roll through it. Uh, I do have a couple of questions for you along the way, so I'll I'll ask those as well, so that you guys can kind of give me the um, you know the uh, big picture of what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And then, then as I said, I really think this will be good for uh, all of uh, you, my best-selling author clients who either have books or are in the midst of writing your book, because if you want to sell your book online, if you want your book to lead to other things, then this is a powerful way to, uh, to make that happen and to do it. So let's go ahead and share the screen real quick and, uh, and dive right in. So I, I went to the Facebook Mastermind page just so you guys could see. Of course, I post um, our call every Tuesday when we have it and what the topic is. But what I did is right in the first comment, I went ahead and I gave you all the links to uh, a, about maybe 40 minute or so overview walkthrough of my funnel. Now it's old, it's probably 18 months old or so, uh, something like that, but nothing has really changed with the funnel. So uh, the video is still helpful. There's the YouTube link. And then I gave you every page uh, within the funnel so that you can take a look at that as well. That's all in the uh, Facebook mastermind group. So you guys can feel free uh, at any point to uh, click those links. I did pull all those links up. So I'm going to be kind of bouncing back and forth and, uh, and sharing those things. So uh, let's go first to um, the first page. And even maybe before we do that, Josh, um, I pulled up your book, of course, uh, Strike Three, What to Do uh, When the Game's Over But Life Is Not. And of course, you have a, a story where uh, your, um, your kind of baseball aspirations uh, came to an end, which uh, I guess was, you know, the lifelong dream and ambition. And, and so it led you on this path of, of rediscovery, which you're sharing, which I think is fantastic. I'm actually going to share a little bit more about that. But this is your book. It wasn't launched long ago. We have seven uh, ratings, uh, almost all five star, which is great. I think we need a, a few more reviews. I'm going to suggest because I want you to use the reviews. Um, you'll see as we go through and talk about it, you know, you're going to want to use the reviews. You need some social proof. So that's, um, that's Josh's book. And at some point, Josh, we may want to, you know, um, do something within the group and, and get you some more reviews for the book because we could use some extra or maybe going out to your community, et cetera. So this is the, the first page of the funnel. And let me, let me move um, my window there so I can see it well. This is the first page of the funnel. Um, you know, pretty uh, simple and, and straightforward. You know, basically someone that clicks this page saw an ad on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or, or wherever. Uh, remind me if I don't mention along the way um, to tell you what's going on with Facebook and us because Facebook has been a tremendous thorn in our side. We've spent about $1.5 million with Facebook in the last two years, and they banned my account for no reason whatsoever. Um, fortunately, we drive ads and, and leads through YouTube um, and Google AdWords and LinkedIn as well. But Facebook, I love Facebook. I've spent a fortune with Facebook. Evidently, they don't love me. So uh, so you definitely want to have more than one traffic source uh, going, and we'll fix our stuff with Facebook. Well, we might have to create some new pages. Who knows? We were fully compliant. We're we're selling books for crying out loud. There's nothing that you know. That's it's not like we're in the dating space or in the cryptocurrency space or whatever. Uh, so it, sometimes it doesn't matter uh, if you're innocent, right? Uh, what only matters is uh, what the boss says, and uh, and the boss is Facebook. It's their platform. 
So, um, so you know, you're going to drive traffic, someone's going to click a link, and then they're going to come to the book, something within your copy was compelling enough, the image and the copy to bring them here. Now, um, you know, the, the design is fine, uh, beautifully designed, very nice. You have a nice uh, cover of the book right there. Um, you have uh, some copy here about, um, you know, expressing some pain that your prospect is feeling. Uh, will one strike out define your life? The walls you put up in your life uh, don't protect you. You know, obviously somebody that's stumbled or having a challenge would read that and, and obviously uh, relate. Um, you have uh, some copy on what's inside the book, which is great. Uh, you have some bonuses. I, I might contend with the value of the bonuses a little bit, but I'm just giving kind of an overview so everybody can see this all at one, one time. And then that's the end of it. So um, in general, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, it's, it's completely fine, and you're going to want to test it with traffic. But here's the things that I, I think may cause somebody – uh, to just click off the page immediately instead of um, going a little bit deeper. And, you know, it takes a lot for somebody to pull out their credit card and put in their information, even for $10.95. I know that that seems ridiculous for most of us, but that is just true. And so, um, so a couple of things, and, uh, and I'm just going to compare it and contrast it with, um, with my um, first funnel page. So the very first thing that um, that you see is, of course, my video. This is actually a long video. I think it's 9, 10, 11 minutes or so. Uh, it contains, um, you know, several uh, social proof elements. There's a long form testimonial from the former U.S. ambassador uh, to uh, South Africa and a best selling client of, uh, of mine. And, you know, video gets attention. And so, you know, you want right out of the gate to, you know, you've gotten them to click, but right out of the gate, you have to do something to get their attention. And if you don't have, you, you either A, have to have really compelling content or B, a video really helps um, with, with getting people's attention. I don't know that I would immediately describe this, Josh and Tommy, as super compelling content. Um, you, you start to tell your story uh, here. In my 20s, I was on track to become a professional baseball player. After an unexpected and tragic injury, I was forced to leave the industry forever. What I might say to you is either, A, you have to make, you have to express the pain a lot more clearly, or you should go right into your story immediately because story is the most compelling and captivating thing. Now, I I, I like where your story is. There's nothing wrong with it, but I don't know that you are expressing the pain of, of the person that is clicking on this enough. Now, I, I don't want to, um, you know, just uh, take cheap shots or, or, um, or nitpick, if you will. But, you know, I, I think the walls you put up in your life don't protect you. They prevent you from living the life you were meant for right? You might be thinking this moment, your defeat, your failure is a mistake. Maybe, you know, maybe something calling out, um, you know, real express pain. Y you work with people like this, I assume in your coaching business, I know you have multiple businesses. And so, you know, maybe calling out some of the more, um, some of the clearer pain that you deal with on a regular basis. Like if, if you deal with people that on a regular basis are going through divorce, and that is like a common pain point of the people that are in your audience, then why not just express that right out of the gate? Or, or if somebody just you know, lost a job because uh, they were 50 something and they got downsized or they were offered a retirement and now they're wondering what to do, whatever that real striking pain is, like be specific. Um, don't be afraid to like speak to your client really, really directly because um, if you don't, then you're too broad and you're not going to catch anybody. If you do, yes, you'll, you'll sort out a bunch of people that say this isn't applicable to me, but you'll really like hit the nail on the head with the people that feel the most pain that, that like, that are most attracted to how you can help them. So I would say either a, get your story going a lot faster and, and, and deeper and expressive uh, you know, like tell a story, right? 
uh, what was the unexpected and tragic injury? I know that you talk about it, but, you know, like tell a story that either initially captivates me and gets me interested or speak directly to my pain, you know? Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're seven years into what was supposed to be the lifelong commitment of your life. Uh, you and your wife are more friends than you are uh, lovers. You know, you haven't had sex in, you know, 11 months. I, I don't know what the pain is, right? But whatever it is, like, just speak it and, and then go to the next pain point and the next pain point and the next pain point. So someone reads that and goes, holy cow, I mean, this is, sounds like he's talking, talking to me. I'm, I'm now going to pay attention. Uh, so maybe a little nitpicky because that what, what you're saying there may really hit home. I just I just felt like it was too broad to do that. Um, the rest of this is fine. Um, I would just compare it in contrast with, um, you know, what I went through uh, putting this together. So so social proof, there's no social proof on your page. You, you need social proof. Um, you need videos with people holding your book up, right? Um, uh, I think I've told this story a number of times, but like I sold, I sent out like a hundred copies of my book, uh, many of them to my clients, people that already like love me. <laughs> and most of them didn't, didn't like take a picture or shoot a video, right? Uh, I always tell a joke. I'm like, you could send a book out to your mom, your dad, and your, your two brothers and sisters. And and, you know, only one of the four will ever, you know, like the odds are against you that they're actually going to do it. So you're better off, like, you know, asking people personally and and really spreading a lot of seed harvesting, you know, comes because you sowed a lot. So I have all these videos because I asked 10 times this number of people to hold my book up and shoot a video about the book. That was it. Um, hey Rob, and, can I ask a question? Yes, please. What do you, what do you recommend? Because right now we don't even have the book. Uh, we literally just got the front cover finalized and we're, we're at least another week and a half away from getting any hard copy. Um, I have, um, I've already, I've ordered a hundred books and that's exactly what we're doing. Great. I've gotten 40, I've got 40 personal asks of, um, I think the social proof, which you're, you're, you're talking about um, to, to go out, but then I'm, you know, then they say I got to read the book. And, and so I'm probably easily a month away from getting anything back from people that have read the book. Yeah. What, what would you recommend um, now to put on as social proof as um, we're trying to get like we're trying to get the uh, the reviews and uh, we're having challenges with uh, Facebook accepting them because a lot of them are obviously personal acquaintances and, and yeah. I've had a lot of submitted a lot of them submitted. I mean, I bet you I've had 30 submitted. No they kidding. Haven't been, yeah, they haven't been verified yet. And wow. and and I'm kind of running to that because obviously we just went through the soft launch, which is giving the book away for free. Yeah. And now we're on to the free plus shipping. So any recommendations on that? Yeah, I, two things. I mean, one, um, several of these testimonials uh, have nothing to do with the book. They have to do more with me. And so I would say put some social proof on there of just testimonial videos about you um, because it's it's your coaching. It's your experience that you are consolidating in the form of this book. And so if you can give them your own personal social proof, then that will, that will take a, a, you know, a big step forward. Um, you're doing the right thing. And I know we're early in it. So some of this stuff you may have already planned to do, but I want to at least share it all. So, no, you know, great. sending out a hundred books, having 40 people, that that's exactly what you need to be doing. And it will take some time for it to come in this funnel, you know, probably wasn't live for three months after the book actually, you know, hit bestseller and, and was published and all of that. So there is a bit of a process there. The other thing that I would suggest, and I, I made um, brief reference to it, is, uh, you know, go to your reviews. And, you know, I mean, you got some great reviews here. Now you're going to get some better ones. Um, but, but two things I would suggest that you do. One is the people that have offered reviews to Amazon and Amazon for whatever reason has denied those reviews, ask those people to send that exact review just to you personally, okay? So you can clip that email, right? And, and put that in there or ask them to send it in a Facebook message or put it on Facebook. And then, you know, in one sense, these are just, you know, you can clip this whole thing, which is great, or this whole thing, which is great. And you can see that I, I do that a lot down here, right? So as you get more reviews, you're going to be able to clip a bunch of great ones and put it in there. 
But if you have a, a number that are being turned down, and that's that's an exorbitant number. I mean, usually it's never more than about a third that get rejected. So hopefully some of those will come through. But I would just say, look, do me a favor. After you know, just copy whatever it is you're going to uh, give to Amazon. Just copy it. And please send it to me on Facebook Messenger, or send it to me in an email, or send it to me, or you know, cop or uh, you know, uh, uh, put my link in there and put it on Facebook itself, and uh, and that's good enough, right? That's great social proof by itself. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, excellent. Um, the other thing that could be helpful, and um, I, I'm not going to just go through my funnel completely here, but um, you know, a lot of people have made reference to. You know, no one reads this entire thing, of course, even though it took so long to put this together. But basically, you know, taking some time and putting some real powerful kind of talking points about your book, um, you know, in a this is what you're going to get inside uh, are really powerful. And of course, you you write it, you write the copy in a way that makes it compelling. You know, the advice this shark and of course, I'm talking about Kevin Harrington got from Richard Branson that earns him an extra $1 million per year. And that's on page, I mean, that's not even, that's not even when the book started, that's on page XXIII, right? Roman numerals. So, you know, I, I, I took a piece of advice that, that um, Kevin shared with me, got from Richard Branson and, and what it's do, making for him. And I just, you know, reverse engineered it to create some copy. And so if you can write copy that makes, that just doesn't give it away, but makes it compelling for people to want to get the book. You know, my accidental book approach that led me out of the biggest hole of my life to millions of income. Hint, it's not just the book, page eight, et cetera. So that, that stuff helps. And obviously I did a whole lot of it. You don't necessarily have to do that much, but if you have anything like that, that's compelling, it's, it's really helpful, okay? So I, uh, as I said, the link to my landing page is in there. So I'm not going to go through any more. You can take a look at the landing page and, and see, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Okay. All right. So after somebody uh, puts in the information, also pays with the credit card, they're going to go to your uh, first page, which is your um, OTO number one, your, your first one-time offer. You have two offers, I believe, and one, you have two upsells and one downsell, correct? Is that right, Tommy? All right. Hold on, I'm asking, there you go. Got it. Um, there is actually one right before that where the um, audio book is offered as a bump to the first page. Okay, I don't know why I didn't see that. I, I pulled up all the links. I, I got five links, one, two, three, four, five. So I so must have missed that somewhere. Yeah, it's built into the, the form. I don't know if I can send it to you as an independent. Oh, you know what? It, uh, so it must be when somebody like puts their information in, it then goes to the, the page itself. Gotcha. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it pops up right as this part. So if you just put in whatever right, information let's before do that. you even go on, it'll ask you right here. Let's do it. There you go. Okay, great. So this is your, uh, your bump, basically, uh, which is great. Give me the audiobook and extended edition too. I want the audiobook. Click the yes. Okay, fantastic. That's exactly what you need to do. That's the, um, you know, you want to have some kind of bump there. Our, our bump, I don't remember what the rates are any longer, but in the video that I give you guys right here, uh, I go through all of my numbers. And, uh, and the bump has made us, I don't know, maybe six figures. Uh, so it's, it's a, you know, having a bump like this is fantastic. And your, your first upsell or bump should always be the audio version of the book. And obviously you're, you're sticking with that, which is terrific. So this is, this is the right thing to have in that place because people that are, are purchasing it, the first thing they want is an audio version so they can start listening to it right away and maybe listen on their iPhone or, or whatever. So I think that's great. Um, one thing I noticed along the way is I'm only seeing PayPal or PayPal credit as uh, a purchase option. Do you not have a, like a merchant set up for credit cards or what's that look like? So we're using PayPal as the, the payment processor. And my understanding is that if you're using PayPal to process any of the credit cards, it automatically changes all of your buttons to PayPal or PayPal credit. It doesn't allow you to keep them with uh, the buttons like you see on the rest of the page. So um, yeah. There is a workaround for that. Um, there, there, I don't remember what the workaround is. Um, my only concern is I think you will lose more people 
um, by not having just a good old fashioned merchant like Stripe or credit card provider and only having PayPal as an option. That's something to test. I've never tested that before, but, uh, but I know that um, everybody I've seen offers both uh, credit card info as well as PayPal info. And so I know there is a technical workaround. I don't know what it is exactly, but I promise you there is um, for that. And uh, you're using ClickFunnels, so for sure there's a workaround for it. Okay, so after this, decide to, to do it or not. After this, we go to um, your uh, first upsell. Your first upsell is Discover Your Superpower Exclusive Course. Uh, and you, of course, have a 45-second video or so on that, which is great. By the way, love your setup. Beautiful setup. I don't know if you have a podcast and all of that, too, but what a, what a gorgeous setup you have there, um, you know, with your mics and everything. Looks fantastic. Super professional. Um, what I'd say is for 147 bucks, you're not giving me any compelling reason to buy it. I, I almost just have to be, you know, one of these kind of mega buyers. Like what is the discover your superpower exclusive course? You certainly can't tell me in 45 seconds. And I did watch the video. You, you, you give me some reasons for it, but it, it's not very much. Um, I'll go back to, to my first upsell. So my first upsell, I have a different bump. My bump is a Kickstarter program. And then my first upsell is the audio version of the book plus um, six training courses. And I give this $1,900 value. It's all for 47 bucks. And I give like a ton of reasons. Um, you know, I, I break into great detail all the six courses they're going to get, right? Here's course number one, all you're going to get from that. Here's course number two, all you're going to get from this. Course number three, course number four, course number five, course number, it's like ridiculous, how much I'm telling them. And I'm, you know, and I'm giving each course like a breakdown of uh, uh, pricing wise, what the retail value is. Um, and then, you know, share the reasons of why I'm doing this. First of all, it's my way of saying thank you. Second, it gives me the ability to get a few more of my products into your hands, right? And so again, like break down all of it, show all the value, and then, then give them the, the reason. This is just for 47 bucks, right? For $147, you got to have some, I don't, I don't know how long this video is, but it's several minutes long. And of course I thank them first. And then you have the link to this, so you can go back and watch it, but it's a, it's a pretty good script and it's a script that you can use, but um, you know, you've gotten into their, you know, into their mind and heart by getting the, the initial purchase, but an additional 147 bucks, it's going to take a lot more, um, copy and, and really explaining what it is. It may be the most awesome course in the world, but you got to tell me every module and what I'm going to learn and why it's important to me and, and et cetera, and put a real like significant value on that. Um, you're going to hear me say this a couple of times. So you, you, you know, I, I won't beat the, beat the horse. Now this, um, I, I, um, I've seen lots of people do this. I have never done it. And I'm not personally a fan of it, but I've seen really, really smart marketers do what you're doing here. And that is basically, uh, this is a downsell. So if somebody says, no, thanks, I don't want this, then it goes to this page, which immediately gives them the same course, but it gives them a 35% discount. Um, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm open to whatever you want. I'm, I'm not here to, to judge. I don't like it because it, there's just something that feels like, wow, okay, so your best, your best buyers who click to buy it right away get punished. Uh, <laughs> while the people that, you know, that aren't your best buyers that clicked off of it get potentially rewarded. Um, I don't know. It, it, something never personally sat right with me about that, but that doesn't mean that it's not the best thing to do. It's, it's my own kind of nuttiness, if you will. So I'm, I'm open to whatever you guys want to do about it. I would test it. Um, I do something similar but different. So my um, second upsell is uh, my 297 um, coaching, BSPU for a year. And of course, I give like a massive amount of content about what they're going to receive. Tons and tons and tons of stuff. Let me, uh, let me refresh it because then you'll see exactly what I mean. 
by what it does. So I give them tons and tons of stuff here. Um, and then it's $297 and I do have a down sell. So if they go to opt out of it, this is the down sell. And it's instead of 297 immediately, it's three payments of 97. So it's not cheaper. They're not getting a discount, but if they were going to opt out of it, uh, I give them a way to buy. Now, here's the cool thing. And you'll see this when you go through my video. Um, it's almost an exact 50-50 split. So 50% of the people pay the full 297 and 50% were going to opt out and they end up paying me three payments of 97. So I still get the full 297. I, I reward, um, you know, both people equally, not one over the other. And I get an additional 50% of sales doing this. And by the way, the 297 offer, it's a very, very small percentage of people that, that take me up on it. It's like two to three percent of all the buyers will take me up. But because it's a $300 offer, it raises the average cart value significantly, which is really what you're trying to do on that page. Okay. So, um, so you have the upsell, the, the first upsell, then you have the downsell. So it's not 35, it's not uh, 147, it's 97, I believe instead, which is 35% discount. Then whether they take that or not, they go to the final thing, which is uh, the 297, get all three courses. So same thing, just like show me exactly what they're going to get, what the courses are. Is there a private group? Is there, do they get to interact with you? Like <clears throat> give me everything that they get. And if it's just, you know, 3000 words of copy, fantastic. The more, the better. It's like a long form sales, sales letter. And you could even read it. Your video could even be reading that long form sales letter, if you will. But that's the way you have to, it has to be super compelling to get people to buy. And then the last thing, of course, is your thank you page, which is um, congratulations, your order is confirmed. So the only thing I would tell you here is this is real estate that um, is very valuable. Everybody wants to get to this page to get their links and to get their stuff. So you should use it. And what I mean is um, my assumption, Josh, is that, you know, you're not just selling books and courses. I, I hope not. Um, if you are great, but if you're selling like actual coaching and you have higher ticket stuff, then give them like a, a long form free training. This is like an hour long training. And then I put an application right on this page. This is the thank you page, right? Here's where they access their order and everything. And, um, and this application gives people an opportunity right there on the page to set an appointment with my team. And let me tell you, the, these are the absolute best, uh, hungriest clients because they've just been through my whole funnel. They've bought a bunch of stuff and now they want to have a phone call. These are people that are like hyper buyers. So I would use that real estate. I, I would have a video, a training, uh, here's your next step. Here's a free training that you didn't pay anything for. I want to give it to you. And oh, by the way, if you want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, now I, I probably should have taken a step back and asked you uh, what you're selling beyond this. So forgive me, I, I didn't do that. But if you're selling something beyond this, this is your chance to um, you know, get an appointment set. So maybe tell me that Josh and Tommy, are you selling something? What's it look like? Yeah, in addition to this, it's, it is one-on-one -on -one coaching, mastermind group, and then event uh, and events as well too. So, and then there's a private network um, that we talk about in the in the group uh, or in the book, uh, but it's a men, it's a private men's group. So, great, great. So there, on this page, you should have a training like a super valuable training that just mm -hmm. has some social proof and has like testimonials within it where you're helping people and then you know an application right next to it or right below it hey if you'd like to to speak to me if if you take those calls or if you'd like to speak to in my case it's an author development coach uh then fill out this form and and we'll set up a call but that, that is this is like super valuable real estate you should take advantage of and get people give people the opportunity to do the thing that you want them most to do, which is set up an appointment to see if there's like next steps for you. And then of course your autoresponder sequence and all that stuff should just drive people back to your content and back to the application page to, to fill out 
an application to uh, to have a call with you. So, so um, you know, I mean, that's broad strokes, right? And and um, you haven't sent traffic to it yet. And I know it's still early because the book just hit. I, I love your ambition because uh, money follows speed, and so you act fast, you test, and and you're going to find the right like coordination of all of this to make it work. So any questions um, on what I've gone over? And of course, I'm going to open it up to the chat in just a second as well uh, for any questions from the group too. Hey Rob, I've got a question for you. Um, first, thank you for going through each of those pages. That was That's awesome and a huge help. Um, My pleasure. What you talk about uh, kind of testing with traffic and getting people through the funnel. What are some of the things that you're looking at um, to change and how how much time are you giving during that that test or trial period to get traffic through the, the funnel? You know, um, that's a good question. I probably don't think of it as time. I think of it more as dollars. Um, so, you know, I might have a three, four, five day testing period where, you know, I'm, I'm sending two, three hundred bucks a day to uh, the account just to see what's happening. Obviously, you send three hundred dollars through four hundred dollars through and you don't have a single sale. You don't have to send three thousand through to know that there's there's something wrong right? Like um, you're going to start getting sales right away if things are correct. And so, you know, within the first few hundred bucks, you're going to know if, you know, if there's an issue. Now you won't, you'll know if there's a big issue, you're not going to know what the little issues are. And so that's where you have to spend a little bit more money to determine it. So let's just see if I could go to my ClickFunnels account. Uh, I'll show you like the stuff that I that I look at when it comes to like my, uh, like my stats and, and all that. Oh God, sorry. Okay, this is not the funnel I want. This is my writing challenge. So let's, let's go to the funnels and let's see if I can actually find it. So bear with me a second. Uh, there's my workbook funnel. I could use that one if I can't find the other. So hold on, I got so many funnels here. Uh, let's see if I can do, might be free plus shipping. Nope. All right, this may be it, let's see. So, you know, on ClickFunnels, you're going to be able to review your stats. Uh, the first thing, obviously, that you're looking at is you're looking at um, your initial most important stat, which is like, am I getting sales right out of the gate, right? Is Are good things uh, happening right out of the gate with it? Let's just, let's just pick some dates that I know. Let's go back a little ways. Come on, honey. Okay, so this is this gives us a lot of detail. So when you when you you know are initially going into um, ClickFunnels, you know your first thing that you're looking at when you're running traffic is okay. I spent 300 bucks. How many sales did I actually make? You know, am I happy with that? What's wrong? And that's going to give you some stats like what's the cost per click uh, that I'm spending? What's the um, the opt-in rate, you know, maybe you're, you're getting killed there in opt-in rate, et cetera. Um, once you have those numbers, okay. And you can see some of these numbers are not great. Like our opt-in rate, 27%. That's, that's over whatever period, a long period of time, $200,000, uh, in, in book sales. Um, you know, and that declined over time. So, you know, that, that's something I wouldn't be totally happy about. 
um, and, you know, probably would want to do some testing. But initially, we were probably 30, 35 percent and somewhere around the 30 percent range is not bad. OK, so what else are we looking at? Well, depends on, you know, if you have a bump. And so if you have a bump, your coaching upgrade, your audio books, et cetera. Um, you know, you can see the stats on what percentage take the audio book. So in my case, uh, 16% over time took the audio book. That, that's pretty good for a $47 upsell. That's not terrible. The coaching upgrade, I think I told you, was around 2 or 3%. Looks like it's 3%. I'm not unhappy with that because that's a $297 price point. And remember what I told you, actually, it's a little higher. Um, it's 56% to 44%. And this is the uh, one-time payment versus the three payments of 97. So, um, you know, but still it's an additional 40%. So, you know, the stats I'm going to look at, um, Tommy, is I'm going to determine like, is my upsell working? Is my opt-in page good? You know, am I happy with, with these percentages in general? And, uh, and if I am, then I leave things and I just run as much traffic through it as not as, as I can. If I'm not, then I have to make some adjustments and some changes and figure out what potentially is the problem. Great. Rob, so, do you, Rob, do you, other questions? Yeah, Rob, do you, do you recommend, so um, obviously there's a lot of things that we need to be, that I need to work on here for content and so forth. We, we were going to schedule this uh, with the book launch. We've got February 5th is when we'll actually have the, the, uh, the physical copies of the book. Amazon will be able to distribute it at that time. Um, do we postpone until we've got this, you know, 80%, 90% or do we say, well, you know, listen, good is good enough and we go with what we've got uh, with the free plus shipping, I, I guess I, I'm kind of battling. What do I do? Is do I just go ahead and make it public with a regular price and then change it to a free plus shipping when we've got it all aligned up or what, what do we, what's the best strategy? You know, I mean, I, I like to do things fast. And so, um, I, I would say, you know, run it, but don't be discouraged if, if the results are really bad, just say, okay, well, it, you know, we didn't tighten the, the, the wheels, <laughs> you know, I mean, we, you know, the engine, uh, you know, wasn't fully hooked up to the transmission, whatever. So, and if it starts like producing for you, then you're like, oh man, this is the greatest thing ever. So I would say, start running traffic to it, run it as a pre plus shipping, so see what happens, like get some data, but just don't be discouraged if, if good things don't happen right out of the gate. Cause there are some key elements. I'd say social proof being probably the number one thing and then more compelling uh, reasons to buy being uh, a close number two. Um, so yeah, do it, run traffic, spend, spend a few hundred bucks and, and or a thousand bucks or whatever, and see what happens. So the, I guess the next follow-up question is that, so I'm going to be on a couple podcasts, um, that they've got a pretty substantial, uh, email list. Uh, I've got a good friend that's got a 30,000 member email list. Knowing so, the funnel that we have in place and we can have it out in two weeks and we can get more even, we can get even more there. What's the strategy that you would put into that knowing we're exactly where we're at? Should we, would we do a free plus shipping or would we say, Hey, listen, buy the book now and, and get the audio book for free. Like what, what if you know, you're going to get into front of 30,000 people yeah. and you're going to have authority in that space because of the, 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 the podcast, the, the gentleman that, on that has the podcast and his audience. And then he's going to give away a value added piece as well. Once they buy the book and then they have the receipt, then he'll go ahead and give them an additional value added piece. What was this? What would the strategy be that you'd use for that? Um, you know, mine may be a little bit different, but it depends on what your, your real goal is. So, so, um, you know, I've been on, uh, like, uh, entrepreneur on fire a couple times and they get a million downloads a month, John Lee Dumas. Mm -hmm. And my only goal was to get people into my funnel. Like, I, I don't care if they bought a book or, or <clears throat> not. Like these are people that listen to an hour long podcast with, with me. John Lee Dumas is saying that I'm the guy to go to for books. Like they've got all the social proof that they need. They're warmed up. All I tried to do was get them to an application funnel. Um, and so, you know, uh, I may take a completely different tact. Uh, I may go in and say, look, I'm not doing this for anybody else. And if you're listening to this podcast, you know, uh, in December of 2021, that this offer may not even be available. But, uh, I, you know, you, you guys are so important to me, your audience is so important, I just want to give you the whole thing for free. 
and I'm going to, I'm not going to, there's not going to be shipping. There's not going to be anything. I'm going to give you a PDF version of it for free. If you want the hardcover, then, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, when it's all set up or whatever, I'll email you uh, a link to get the hardcover, but I just want to get it for you for free. And then that way you're just going to fill your email list with, with tons of, of his prospects. Now he may not want to do that. I don't know if there's an affiliate arrangement here. I, like, I don't know all of that, but like, I would just want to get as many of those people as possible that were from that endorsed podcast onto my list and giving something away like for free, free uh, does that really well. Does that make sense? Sure. So with that said, you know, there's no wrong way you're, you're getting an endorsement from somebody that, you know, has a big following and that's awesome. Yeah. And I think that, you know, I guess I, I go back because I've listened to a lot of uh, very successful entrepreneurs that say, anytime you give away something for free, you almost devalue the product in a sense. And I, I understand like, you know, we want to, we want to get emails and we want to be able to put them in our funnel as well too. And so, you know, I think a lot of people like they devalue it if it is completely free as opposed to when you know that like, okay, it's still going to cost like normally it's $27, but you know, in this, in this substance, you're going to get the audiobook for free or something. So I, I just was curious to know if you had any thought on that. You know, I don't disagree with that, but you know, my, my language um, makes an exception to that. Like, like when I said, uh, you know, you may be listening to this podcast in December of 2021, and this may not be available because I'm, I'm not doing this for anybody else. I just want to do it for you. And so I'm going to give you this private link and I'm doing it for you um, simply because, you know, you're, you're the audience of my good friend and blah, 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 blah. So, so that I think, that I think takes away the devaluing of it um, for most people. Uh, at the same time, like I said, I don't think there's anything wrong with making some type of special offer and, and to, you're going to get the best leads from people that give you cash. Mm -hmm. So, so that is true. Uh, you may get more leads than you want of people that are tire kickers than, than people that actually have money and are willing to invest. So I could go either way. <laughs>